Uh, for yours truly, uh, this is a classic example of uh, mixed emotions. Uh, mixed emotions was once described in a joke as by seeing someone you hate very much drive over a cliff in your new car. That is mixed emotions. I'm not going to deal with it jokingly. This is very much mixed emotions. The great lyricist Sammy Kahn wrote a line once, it's very nice to go traveling, but it's oh so nice to go home. My wife Julie and I are really looking forward to going home. And Tammy Haddad, our senior producer, is looking forward to go home. We came here from Washington. I was asked to do these games almost a year ago, and I said, why me? And now I know why me, because I've had a lot of fun. And if I have been able to bring that fun to you, to share it with Hannah and Nick and Tony Werner and, and Rex Lardner and Barry O'Donnell and this whole wonderful crew here with Turner Broadcasting, what a kick that has been. So if I'm asked to do it again, I'll say yes. But more importantly, we all got to go do our things. This crew's going to break up. We've been like a circus for 17 days, a traveling circus. We've lived together, shared emotions, highs, lows, sometimes got a little edgy. Always groups of 20 eating together, loud noises, friendship, great laughs. Took a lot of pictures together. We have broken a record for taking <laughs> pictures together. And what a great time. I'll be back next week on the radio and on Larry King Live. Nick will be back on CNN. Han will be back. We'll all be doing our things. We may gather together at various points of the world. We'll always have that special tie that we made together here at the Goodwill Games in Seattle. So I'm going to ask you to stick around because we got a terrific close for you. So on behalf of the whole crew, we all invite you to watch this. For 17 days, we brought the world together through the use of cameras, electronics, and satellites. The Turner Broadcasting System reached out to the universe, and the universe responded. The Goodwill Games were conceived to unite the world's best. And for the past weeks, we were beyond the thrill of victory to the thrill of victory shared. He coming on strong, beyond he beginning to slow his turnover, but he still has the long reach. It's gonna go to the finish. And it's Anthony Nesty from Suriname, wins it again. Back home in the Dolphin Swim Club in Paramibo, Suriname, family and friends of Anthony Nesty watched and cheered. Suriname have good cause to rejoice. This was like nothing I've ever seen before. The television cameras letting the athletes share emotions they've never been able to share before. All right, we've got a surprise. Your father, Ronald, is in Suriname. Yeah. <laughs> Ronald, you must be proud of Anthony. We are very proud. We are very excited here. We have, uh, you know, we have everything. Is, we are very happy about everything. As Robert Emian jumped to a silver medal, I was able to ask his mother if she got nervous before Robert competes. A little bit. I'm happy, and I am worrying for him, and I am very impassioned about it. And I'm his mother, of course. What can I say? Yeah. I wish him good luck. We linked the world with our cameras, and we showed again and again that different cultures, different languages, even distance, were no barriers to getting along together, to seeing ourselves in others. Gold medal winner Gao Min got to talk to her parents in Beijing, China. I really miss you. We miss you very much, too. We are very pleased to see you. So we are waiting for you to return. We reached out through the miles, and our electronic pictures allowed gold medalist Christina Eggerzegi to share heartfelt moments with her family. And it looks like Melvin's going to take this all the way to the wall. A new American record. The fastest time in the world this year, and American record for Melvin Stewart. A marvelous <laughs> swim. Well, Melvin, I think we've got some excited folks in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, who might want to say hello. How you doing, you guys? Hey, I like your shirts. Kim, you look great. <laughs> I told Nick Charles I was better looking than you, so don't be mad at me if he says that or anything, okay? 
In our journey features, we heard the athletes speak for themselves, sometimes with the help of our hardworking interpreters. My journey to the Goodwill Games nearly ended less than two years ago. Just days after the 88 Olympics, my longtime coach, Lyubov Miromanova, died. She committed suicide. I owe much of my success in cycling to willpower. Willpower I developed as a child in an orphanage in Estonia. I don't remember much that was good about the place. Most was bad. Unfortunately, tragedy has been part of my journey to the Goodwill Games. I am from Lininakan, the epicenter of the earthquake that hit Armenia in 1988. Often we heard voices that let us share the athletes' most deeply felt inner feelings. In my journey to the Goodwill Games, um, I, of course, still feel my father's presence. He uh, inspires us, all of us, every, every day, I would say, because there's always a time when I think about him. Fear of losing motivates everyone, I hope. Um, definitely motivates me. I can't even think about losing. It's like taking a little bit of your heart and tearing it out. And I think that's why I've been helped me be successful too is because I hate it so much. It hurts so bad. Through the use of home video cameras, we made it possible for the athletes to share some of their lighter moments with us. Hi, how are you doing? I'm fine, how are you doing? Good, what are you making? I'm making scrambled eggs. Mm. I'm eating my friend muffin. Mmm. Mmm. This is the dessert. That's a scale. From Edmonton, Canada, Kurt Browning's family and friends were able to watch as Kurt skated to victory over the leader, Soviet Viktor Petrenko. Here it comes. Oh, oh by the triple Damn axle, it. triple toe loop combination, which Viktor Petrenko landed so well, I think he felt he had to compete a little bit with Victor and try it himself. We'll do a half loop. There's the half. Oh, he oh, changed it to a triple axle. I think he knew that he really needed that for his technical score. After the fall. Well, he is our gold medal winner because look at the artistic impression. Five nines from Austria, the Soviet Union, and the USA. And we did see perfection here over and over again, in every sport, from every nation, with our cameras sharing the magnificence of those efforts. To give you the best coverage possible, we put cameras closer to the action and to the emotions, strength, and determination of the great athletes who made the Goodwill Games possible. With our cameras, we tried to bring you into the picture. And who can get those come from behind efforts? The Southern Two feet. Shit. Going for the floater. Kuznetsov. Blocked. And down. High score. Not that beat. Strike it hard. Don't spare them. I know how do you play in defense? Their defense is their trump card, and your defense is failing. Point. That's it! We were able, Bill, to hear the, the coach of the Soviet Union through live interpretation, and he kept complaining to his team about your defense. Uh, Would you say that was the key tonight? Well, I'll tell you, my guys competed, they fought back, and they just scrapped. Um, 
I hope he complained about it. I, I sure liked it. I, I, that really makes a difference when, when guys make extra plays to get after the ball under some pressure, get the ball up. That's why we play the game. With the help of our interpreters, we were able to get into the ring with fighters who speak another language and gain a deeper understanding of the motivation it takes to go into the next round. Father Arturo normally speaks Spanish because that's the language they use around the house and they're most comfortable with it. Hey, careful with your hand to the left, all right? Careful. Use the jab first. Short left, short left. Okay, respira uno. You do it. You okay, do breathe, breathe. 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 Okay? You do okay, this. Todo. Te voy a el That's tiempo. it. That's all you need to do. Go, go. The Goodwill Games athletes came from around the world to the great Northwest, the state of Washington, to Spokane, to the Tri Cities, to the beautiful bay, Puget Sound. And the good feelings from Seattle soared throughout the stratosphere by way of our satellite uplinks to swimmer Glenn Hausman's family in Brisbane, Australia, to Radon Gatoylan's wife, Tatiana, waiting in Leningrad, to the Golden Bee Bar in Colorado Springs, where some of figure skater Jill Trenary's friends sang. And there seemed to be no way to stop this Brooklyn boy from joining in when they sang Sidewalks of New York. Sidewalks of New York. I think I'll keep my regular job, too. <laughs> to Houston, Texas, where boxer Eric Griffin's family gathered, and he had a chance to talk with his surrogate father. Well, like I told you, Bob, before, I mean, we talked yesterday. I told you, I'm, I'm sending this guy on the plane with a headache. Uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, he gonna, he gonna have a sickness back home, baby. Some technical magic let us add to the brilliant figures of our athletes to help tell the story of some of the 2,500 outstanding world competitors who gathered in Seattle. At the beginning of each show, our headlines set up the biggest matches of the day. And at the end of each show, we were able to supply answers reflecting the outcome of those matchups. We had close to 300 cameras to catch the expected winners and the upsets. We had more than 500 hours of coverage to bring home the story of athletes from over 50 countries and carry those stories back home. With over a billion viewers watching these 1990 Goodwill Games, we try to fulfill our obligation as a truly international telecast. The Goodwill Games and Turner Broadcasting reached out to the universe, and the universe answered back with beauty and perfection and friendship. Hey, let's call it love. What more could we ask? The Goodwill Games 1990, a treasure to remember, a memory to treasure. Let's do it again in 1994. This is Larry King, speaking for Hannah Storm, Nick Charles, and our executive producer, director, Tony Verna, for all the outstanding analysts and play-by-play -play announcers who brought the games to us, and for all the incredible people behind the scenes who worked literally around the clock, on their behalf, let me thank you, the viewer, for also being part of this fantastic experience, these Goodwill Games. Till next time, this is Larry King. Arrivederci.